Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kiger here. Up here today with a pickups video. Um, <coughs> I did say there might be a pickups video today. Um, there wasn't a pickups video because I got money and I spent it. I did some trading today. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I've got some good stuff here. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna let this intro go on for too long. I'm, I think we'll get straight into it, but I've got um, some PS2 stuff, some DVDs and Blu-rays, uh, some P a couple of PS4 games, a couple of Xbox One, uh, one Xbox 360 and one N64, which we'll <coughs> start with, excuse me, I picked up, this was £2.50, WCW versus NWO World Tour, have no idea if this is a good, you know, a, a good uh, game or not, I don't know, you know, the problem is with a lot of these old wrestling games, some of them were really good, like, you can go back and play them today and have fun with, <clears throat> others are just terrible and, you know, you, you, you think they were amazing as a kid and then you get older and you're like, wow, is it any good or not, but still always good to add another N64 game into the collection, even if it is a, you know, an, <clears throat> an average game, <clears throat> so to say, but still, can't really complain there. Um, I'll show off the DVDs. Um, got three Jeremy Clarkson DVDs here. DVDs here. Um, I grew up l watching Jeremy Clarkson VHS tapes all the time, you know. And um, I just wanted to get a little bit of a. These were 50p each, by the way. Um, I just wanted to watch some of these and see if it brings back any nostalgia. Um, you know, like I said when I did my VHS collection, you probably heard me talk a lot about these Jeremy Clarkson shows and well not shows but they were sort of like made straight for dvd specials or tv and stuff like that i've got um heaven and hell jaw and supercar showdown um again these 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 are again like you know showing off all these different cars and then he does like some crazy stuff with them like destroys them you know you get people like the stig and that in there so you know not bad one band 50 for three uh, Jeremy Clarkson DVDs, um, like I said, say what you want about, you know, Jeremy Clarkson as a person, um, but you gotta, you got to admit, you know, he, he, he's done a lot for cards and stuff like that in his time, so, you know, like I said, these, these are just sort of nostalgia for me, and not these ones in particular, the VHS tapes were, so I thought, you know what, I'll get some of these DVDs and watch them sometime and see if they're still, you know, bring back some of that, those uh, good memories. Um, so yeah, and then I've got four DVD, well, five DVD movies and two Blu-rays. Uh, picked up the, uh, these were all 50p as well, apart from two of them. Um, the Bodyguard, um, I've never watched this movie, this is my mum's favourite movie. One of my mum's favourite movie ever, and obviously Whitney Houston uh, is one of my mum's favourite singers of all time. So, you know what, I thought, you know what, it may be it's time to watch something, uh, you know, a bit older. I think, you know, it's a romance film and stuff, but apparently it's a very powerful movie and a very uh, well-written movie and very good movie. I hear heard good things about this, so one of those movies that you, you, you get told to watch quite often. Uh, picked up 40 Days and 40 Nights. Uh, this movie is, is it's not a great movie, don't get me wrong. Um, it's basically about a guy that has to um, go 40 days and 40 nights without doing anything sexual. And it's one of those rom comedies and, you know, kind of like a situation comedy also as well. Um, it's, it's cheap, it's boring, it's not boring, I wouldn't say boring, it's cheap entertainment at its best, you know you know, American Pie-esque style of comedy, you know, those summer comedies, as one might say. Uh, you know, throughout the uh, early 2000s, you know, 2000 to about 2006, we just got so many of these comedy movies that are just shit, but when you look at them, but, you know, everyone talks about them, and I didn't have this one in the collection. It's actually not too bad. It's quite funny. Um, and then I picked up this movie called Abandoned, um, took a chance on this one. I thought this is something that my partner would like. It seemed like a sort of a, you know, drama movie. I think it's about a guy. Uh, uh, he, yeah, look after his three-year-old son. Yeah, it's something about um, 
tragedy and stuff so kind of a powerful movie i'm guessing and that was a 50p also yeah. so the only two movies that weren't 50p apart from the blu-rays were picked up assassin's creed two pound fifty I've heard this actually isn't that bad of a movie. I hear that it's not as bad as what you think it's going to be. You know, video game movies are just one of those things that you, you watch because, you know, like, oh my God, all these Assassin's Creed movies, I have to go and watch it. And then when you watch it, you're like, why did I watch it kind of thing, you know? But again, I uh, would, would like one day to have every single video game inspired movie or game based uh, video game movie, a movie based on a video game. £2.50, haven't watched it so give it a watch one day and see if it's any good. And then I had to pick up Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I had this on VHS as a kid, love this movie to pieces, it's one of my favourite sort of um, animated live action movies, it's really well done, uh, when did this come out, I think it was the 90s or the 80s? Um... I don't think it says. I think it was a 90s movie, but it could have been an 80s movie. I could be wrong. It could be 70s. Who knows? But yeah, this movie is is, is amazing. I love this movie to pieces. You are, boy. Um, really, really love this movie. You can't get much better than Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <coughs> and then two DVDs. I picked up Batman and versus Superman, and this is the ultimate edition. Um, but this, I only got one disc. So. Normal version, unfortunately, but. Um, it's because I watched Justice League not too long ago, I feel like maybe I should watch uh, this one as well. Uh, maybe Man of Steel first, but watch this film and see if uh, if it changes my um, output of um, Justice League. I highly doubt it will, but I, I think this movie, a lot of people gave it prompts, but it's one of those really long movies and it takes a while to get into, I hear, so... Who knows? And then last but not least on the Blu-ray, picked up Skull Kong Island, uh, or Kong Skull Island. Again, one of those movies that we we talked when it came out, we were always like, oh, we, you know, be interested in watching that. And uh, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'll get it. And Tom, Tom Hiddleston's in it from uh, Loki. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard uh, good things about this movie. Do the Xbox 360 get, uh, actually, We'll do the Xbox 360 game here. One Xbox 360 game I've got here, Over G Fighters. Um, it's an Ubisoft game. Thick manual, what bloody hell. Part of me thinks I already have this game, but part of me thinks I don't. Um, I'll soon find out when I check and add these into my, uh, uh, not media, what do you call it? Ah, oh, I add it into my profiler, that's it. But yeah, um, just an average plain game, I guess, um, how good it is. I don't know, but I'm guessing that, um, yeah, this probably was quite uh, intended as an online game back in the day, and £2, can't really go wrong, oh, uh, Skull Kong Island, Pong Island, whatever, Kong was fucking £4, and um, Roger Rabbit was one fifty, and Superman was £1, £2.50. Uh, well, we'll just stick with the Xbox stuff for now. Um, right, I picked up for £5, Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Um, this actually is basically more much of the same as the first, well, Wolfenstein The New Order. And Wolfenstein The New Order, in my opinion, is one of the best first-person shooters um, that, you know, was put out within of this generation. Uh, especially, like, if you're on about fast-paced first-person shooters, you know, go sort of games that you know they're not realistic in any way they're just like old school bringing it back really like that style of um new bethesda style when it comes to like doom and and stuff doom eternal i hope i'm, I'm hoping will be just as good but um this essentially was a two-part expansion pack uh, that was released uh, not about a year after the new the new order and it has a uh, two two parts into the game it has a but it's not kind of like two um, DLCs as such. And I think uh, the first DLC, the first part, had like zombies and stuff in it, which is cool because Wolfenstein isn't unknown when it comes to like... It's not unknown in the Wolfenstein universe to not have like monsters and things in it and supernatural elements. And uh, yeah, this is just as good as the New Order. I wouldn't say it's better. I think the New Order is more... I think the New Order is the best out of the three well four but three um 
Wolfenstein new the new style of them. But five pound not bad. Uh, Twelve pound I got eighty one pounds trading credit, so I managed to do quite well. I had to pay fifty p more. To, it came to seventy nine pound, and I was like, oh. I'll get the uh, wrestling game and I've got 50p anyway, so makes it £81.50. I've got here Outcast Second Contact. I have no clue as to what sort of game this is, but I, 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 I don't know. Um, I think this came out on PC. I don't know if this is like a remaster or a remake or something. I know that this is an old uh, older game and then they sort of remastered it and it's... It looks interesting to say the least. It's like a living planet, epic battles, a fantastic adventure. Um, I don't really know what sort of game this is. I, I, I like, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking a, a mix between No Man's Sky and Uncharted and the, um, that game with, uh, what was it called? Oh, I forgot what it's called now, but, but there's another game that I'm, I'm thinking, the style. Uh, reminds me of it and yeah 12 pounds it's something that i haven't i know this multi-platform game something that i haven't played so i thought you know what i'll get this one i wanted to try it out and for 18 pounds i picked up a vampire or i don't know if it's called vampire or it might be vampire um i've heard mixed things about this game i, I, I haven't really done research on this game so i don't really know if this is any good or not and it's, I think it's kind of like one of those Dishonored style games where it's all about making choices and it's all these different... I think I think that's what it's like. It's sort of like Dishonored, I think. Um, all based around vampire and, you know, I don't really care about vampires, really. I think they're overused now. But it's interesting to see them try something, um, bring vampires back into the gaming universe one way or another. And then we got some PS2 games, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight PS2 games and then two PS4 games to end it. Um, um, I did mention when I did the last ASMR video about the iToy games and I decided to pick up um, some of these iToy uh, games here just because I need to get the iToy, I really do, I really need to get the iToy, I don't have it. Um, but again, these are games that I see all the time, so I thought, you know what, I'll get a few of these PS2 games because then, because the PS2 games that are left for me nowadays are the really expensive ones or the, you know, the ten to fifteen pound games, and then the expensive ones, and then you just all your sports and your your um, iToy games and things. So I picked up iToy Play Two. I don't, I, I don't think I have this one. I. Um, it's the only one that I didn't have in the iToy Play series, so I've got that. Uh, Disney Move, again, much of the same iToy thing, all based around Disney stuff. So uh, this might be a good one for my son when he starts to realise what it all does. And uh, kind of an oddity here, I wouldn't really call it a game, but it's called iToy Chat Lite. Um, I believe this was basically like... Um, Skype before Skype, so you know, PlayStation, Sony were like, "Oh yeah, let's uh, see if we can do do iToy chat." And and actually, it's a really cool sort of thing here. Um, whether you can do this anymore is probably beyond me. I highly doubt you can um, do it, but it's probably some really. You probably this was probably quite um, intuitive for its time, and you know, something original. You know, something. A bit different in the uh, something a bit different in 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 the gaming universe. I know that um, Dreamcast had a internet in internet a disc as well that you could go on the internet on, and then we had things like Pico Chat and stuff. So video games nowadays, yeah, we 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 have party chat and things like that. But before we had all that, they were there was all these different experimental um, things that we got, and it, it's interesting to say the least. Probably not very good in terms of today's, you know, you probably can't get much functionality from them, but probably for their time, they were probably interesting. Never had one though. Then I've got a NBA Live 2004. What can you say? It's another NBA game. Again, thought I'd get, get more of them because always getting more NBA games. Base Ma or Bassmaster Fishing by Age Tech and Big Ben. Actually, wait, Big Ben, they made the, um, second outcast game as well so hmm, interesting yeah 
fishing game interesting again. <laughs> MX, MX World Tour, one of the many, many motor cross games that there, that there is out there. So many of these games, it's, it's unbelievable. It's motorbikes, guys. Spy Hunter 2, um, the remake, well, not remake, but they they did this first one, and I hear the first one was terrible, and I don't know if the second one's any better or not. I think the second one's slightly better, but it's not saying much. Again, take all these old arcade games and let's make them in 3D, see what happens. Don't do it. Just leave arcade old games as they are, right? Some games just don't change it. If, 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 if the original works, don't change it. If you want to remaster it, that's fine. But don't change what made the original so great. <laughs> and then we got this game called Frequency. Um, I have no clue as to what sort of game this is. Well, I do know what it is. It's a rhythm game. But it looks kind of like one of those, you know, Amplitude or something like that. But it's made by Sony, so... So, yeah, interesting. Really... But yeah, um, these rhythm games, some of them are really, really good. And then last but not least, two PS4 games. I picked up Dissidea Final Fantasy NT. Um, I had this game before, I traded it in, so I just thought I'd get it back because there weren't many PS4 games that, that I wanted, that I could get. So I just, I never played it, so that's why I got it back. And then last but not least, we got the final Samurai Warriors game that I needed for the PlayStation 4. Uh, Empires, Samurai Warriors 4 Empires. Yeah. Um, I love the Empire series and Samurai Warriors 4 is actually a really good series. So, really enjoy the Warriors games and it's always nice to add a new Warriors game into the collection. But I think I'm going to end this video here guys. Uh, small pickups video, nothing special, but well, we've got some good stuff, I will say. Um, and as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know what you've picked up recently. Let me know if you go Boxing Day shopping or anything. And, of course, guys, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And, of course, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.